Yes guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all rolling into autumn like I am with a big grin on your face. Um, I'll be honest guys, summer here's been absolutely rubbish. Um, I felt really let down. I was really hoping for a summer of 2018 vibe again. You know, England getting to the semi-finals of the World Cup, 30 degrees centigrade every day. Going was good. Um, this summer, not quite so much. So let's try and put all our eggs in one basket for next summer because we are due a good summer, especially with climate change and all the negative stuff going around. Right, okay, so first I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping with you. The next video I am making is actually going to be featuring a system which is going to be my next system. And I wanted to do a video on this because I absolutely love having a mix of lace and poly in the sort of autumn or winter months. I just find it works a lot better than wearing just a lace base, um, which I tend to prefer in the summer months. So keep your eyes peeled for that next video. Do hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because that means you'll get notified whenever I do make a new video. And um, as if I hadn't said it too many times, by the end of 2021, I want to get up to that 1K. Um, and I'm really determined to get there. So please help me on my journey. Awesome. So today I wanted to discuss with you guys five mistakes that I made when I first started wearing a hair system. Mistake number one, not buying a leave-in conditioner. This, for me, was the biggest mistake I could possibly make for so many reasons, but I'm gonna go over the obvious ones. Number one, your hair system can get really dry if you don't use a daily leave-in conditioner. Two, the hair on your hair system is dead hair. It's not actually being nourished by any oils from your scalp, which is, what bio hair gets. It gets natural oils from your scalp to replenish it, to moisture it. With dead hair on a hair system, it doesn't have that luxury. You have to keep it moisturized, nourished, and leave-in conditioner is a really good way, a cheap way and a good way to do it. I use Palmer's leave-in conditioner. I don't know if that's available in the US, but in the UK, you can get it from all good superstores. They sell it in Boots as well, and they sell it in Amazon. I found it cheapest from Boots, so that's where I'd recommend. I also get loads of Boots points for free because my mum goes to Boots like every weekend, and she's given me uh, one of her cards, uh, her Boots cards, so I just get it for free from there, use the points. Mistake number two shampooing your hair system too often. I only ever now shampoo, pardon me, my system maximum once a week. Once a week, because I've always found, and the hair system community is a little bit split on this, but I'll give you my opinion, right? If you're shampooing your hair every day, or every other day, or even every third day, your hair, as I discussed before, it's dead hair it will start oxidizing. The color will get lighter. You can even see with mine now. I've had this system about five months, but it does, it's natural, you know. Shampoo, the sun, even conditioner, all of these things contribute to the oxidization of your system. And you wanna limit that as much as possible if you want to get a longer lifespan out of your hair system. And when I was shampooing, every other day, even at one point every day, I was just finding that hair was falling out, the hair was going lighter, it was going gingerish, after about one and a half, two months, and I was kind of thinking, whoa, this is way faster than I expected. Once I backed off to once a week, that's when I noticed that I wasn't having this oxidation effect. Of course, the sunshine and all, the, there's other things that can come into it, but shampoo, you have control over. Right, so try and make the right call when it term, when it comes to how often you're shampooing it. If you want to get four or five months out of a system, even longer, don't shampoo more than once a week, guys. You really don't need to. You've got the leave-in conditioner that's going to nourish it. You don't need to shampoo more than once a week. Mistake number three: isopropyl alcohol is a really vital component of the cleanup for your hair system. Whenever you're removing, cleaning up rebonding. Isopropyl alcohol is so important. I, I rate it, you know, in my top three most important products when it comes to sustaining a hair system. However, don't get isopropyl alcohol on the system itself. 
because it has a drying effect and it will dry out the hair. This is the last thing that you want. Absolutely, when you're trying to clean your scalp, isopropyl alcohol, there's nothing better. When you're trying to get glue off your scalp, isopropyl alcohol, nothing better. When you're trying to deal with the actual hair itself, isopropyl alcohol, terrible idea. Don't do it guys, because it's gonna dry out the system. Uh, you might even notice some shedding because of the drying effect. So please do try and keep isopropyl alcohol. If you've got the bottle, keep it away from your hair system. Don't get it anywhere near your hair system. Even when you're doing a cleanup, don't leave the bottle top open because if it spills over your hair system, it's a no-go, all right? So isopropyl alcohol, super important, but keep it away from the hair system. Mistake number four, not using at least two mirrors when I'm reattaching the system. Now, I'm sure guys who have been sort of followers of me for a while, you would have seen me rebond my system and you would have noticed that I do it all myself. I don't, I don't use my fiance to help me or anyone else. I literally do it all myself and that's absolutely possible, but it does take a little bit of practice when it comes to bonding the back of the system. And I find one mirror or no mirrors is just not enough. I always use two mirrors. I tend to use a wall mirror and a, a sort of handheld mirror just behind sort of the back of my scalp. And then at least I get two angles so I can actually see where I'm basically placing the back of the system. Now you don't really want a gap where there's a bald bit. You don't want that. And you don't want an overlap where your system is actually overlapping uh, your natural bio hair at the back. So you want to get it just right. And with the two mirrors, you can actually get, a, you can actually have a pretty good go at doing it and getting it right. I do still have times where I fuck up, for want of a better term. For instance, now the, the latest bond I did was a bit of a fuck up. As you can see, I'm showing more scalp than I usually do. Um, you know, we're talking, I'm usually about three fingers and I'd say now I'm closer to about four fingers. And that's because I made a little bit of a fuck up when I was basically rebonding the back of the system and I created a, a bit of an overlap, basically. So that was a mistake on my behalf and it just shows that even people who have been wearing systems for years aren't perfect. You can still make mistakes. This is an art, it's not a science, okay? Mistake number five using too many styling products. Guys, I am a fan of styling products, but I'm a fan of styling products in moderation. When I got my first system, I was using styling products every single day. I was using wax, gel, putty, clay, and after about a month, it became really apparent to me that this was a bad idea because I was having clumps of hair coming out in my hands because the gel or the wax or the clay was basically binding with my system hair and pulling it out of the base, which was a lace base at the time. And not only was it pulling out sort of loads of hair at a time, it was making my front of my system, my hairline really, really thin. And I remember going back to that time, I had it removed by my hairdresser and we looked at the front there was barely any hair left. And it was all due to the fact that I've been using clay and putty and all of these things. Now, I've kind of got a rule. I only ever now use styling products for a special occasion. If I'm going out for a meal with my friends or my fiance, or I'm going to a meeting or something like that, and I only use it on those occasions, which are probably about, once a month, maybe even once every two months. I think when you use it about that often, you don't really get much of a detrimental effect. Okay, you might have a few hairs fall out as part of the natural shedding process, but nothing like I was getting when I was using it on a daily basis. So those are the five mistakes I made when I first started wearing a hair system. This is slightly more targeted to uh, potential or new hair system wearers. And I really think you will find it, you know, helpful and it might sort of save you a bit of the pitfalls that I fell into on my early days of wearing a system. I hope you found that really helpful, guys. I'm gonna try and be making more content more regularly. That 1K, I'm gonna say it till I'm red in the face. 
Um, I hope you enjoy my content. Please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it on hair system groups. If you are part of any, I'm happy to get the word out there about my channel. Um, and I will see you next time. Take care guys. Bye for now.